Welcome to a new video by DJ's BRC. Today we have the Spectrum S2100. The big daddy of Spectrum. You do have the uh, S1500. Uh, and you do have the S150. Basically what the S2100 means is dual port, 100 watts per channel. And this guy here is AC. Basically meaning you don't need to plug it, plug in on the car battery or on a power supply. It has its own power. Um, let's go take a look here. What's included in the box is the charge itself, power cord and the manual. Input voltage, 110 volts. Maximum charge capacity, 200. Both sides, 100, 100. Uh, charge rate to uh, basically the 0 .0 0.1 to 12 amps, discharge rate 0 0.1 to 3 amps, uh, maximum charge is 5 watts times 2, balancing current uh, 0 0.0 amp per cell times 2, balancing cell to the 6, uh, that's the dimension and weight, uh, don't think you really do want to have the dimension and weights. Besides that, on the side of the box, they don't explain you. They do explain the key features here. I'll see if she's gonna want to, probably not. Being very difficult. But I think you guys get my, my drift. Let's open it and see what's in the box. The first thing you see in the box is the manual itself. Now I am explaining a little bit about this charger here in this video. I would really recommend you take the time to read this. You might have stuff in here that I might forget to say or did not explain the way you might understand. Uh, any charger, anything you have electronic, I do strongly suggest that you read the manual that comes with it. Once we remove the manual and read it, we have in front of us the charger itself. Extra packaging. Let's open this box here. This box we have our power cord. Put it back in the box, don't need it. aside and we have our charger and very exposed by the light <laughs> uh, looking at the charge itself you'll have button one button two then you have your jog and your center button of your of the jog I'm not sure if you say jog jog what whatever the dial the middle dial let's say uh, now, if we flip it on the back itself, you'll see you'll have your two fans, your power input, flip it inside, you'll have your USB output, and the programming uh, dongle. Basically, it's a 3.5 to USB, you plug in your computer uh, if you want to do firmware update on this charger. On the other side, you have absolutely nothing. Now, if we go in the front, we'll have vents to IC3s and balancing ports. Let's plug this charger in. Now, one of the first thing I'm going to do here is take this put it in medium that way the camera has less issue grabbing it for one of the first thing you do see is basically you'll see two sides uh, it won't show you any information because we don't have a battery plugged in. 
Now I do have a battery here, a 5050C three cell. And it has IC5s. Now I do need a converter. I do have one made here. Plug it in. Make this a little bit easier on me. I'm gonna grab a 3S extension. That way I won't have the battery jammed to the charger. Now, to be able to charge this battery, you don't need the balancing port. It will know by the third wire that's in the middle right here. Oops, sorry guys, you can't see this. <laughs> the middle wire right here. But now if we look here, it's telling us it's a three cell and giving us the voltage here. We're gonna select one. That way we'll see every information on it. Now physically you can't really see it. I'm gonna zoom in. Cell one, 393, cell three, 393. Cell two, 393. She's basically pretty much balanced. Now, if we go down, tells us the pack voltage, the Fahrenheit that you can change in Celsius. And it's telling us the maximum charge rate. We can charge this, this guy. Now, if we Press once on the middle uh, the middle button. We have start. Then we have our task, battery type, cell voltage, cell count, the current, and the start. And we go back. Now, in the task, basically if you select task, you'll have charge, discharge, or storage. Automatically it will be set to charge. Battery type will go automatically to the LiPo because it knows what kind of battery it is. Cell voltage, this you can play with it, but if you don't know what you're doing, I would recommend you leave it at that way. Now if you hold and long press, now you'll have the channel one smart, channel two smart. They could be set up independently from each other. The backlight, how is the display lighted up? I had to put on medium for the camera to grab. Touch sensitivity, if you feel this is too sensitive, you can bring that down. USB charge is on. Basically, you can turn the USB off. This is the volume of when the charger tells you it's fully charged or not. Uh, no, sorry. I do apologize. Volume is, I don't know. Oh, it is the volume, yeah. Completion tone, you can change You can change that to repeat or basically single. It will repeat multiple times until you finally come and touch the charger, uh, one of the buttons to shut it up. Uh, display split automatically after a while. Let's say you're on the two, it'll split itself to two to show you both, both of them. And assuming you tell them manually to switch it if you wanted to, we'll leave it to auto. And you have language, you have a couple of languages in this guy. We have English, Dutch, Francais, French, Italiano. And then you have in, in system information, basically it tells you the firmware. Uh, I don't know what's a BL and OS on it. Then you do have a self self checker. Basically the charger will diagnostic itself to make sure there's no problem with it. And then you have your, your back and your back to the main main side. Now if we press one time fast, one time fast again, I'll start charging the battery up. 
This is the amperage, one amp right now, and the milliamp that goes in. Tells you your uh, battery uh, voltage, but uh, temperature, and what kind of milliamp she can go up to. And you can go back up and tell you what cells are happening with it. If you press on it once, you'll stop it. And this is the S2100 from Spectrum. If you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. I do you really appreciate that? And if you want to be notified next time I upload a video, hit that bell notification. It will let you know. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.